Can I get a waffle? Can I please get a waffle? What's up guys, Dinks here and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build this awesome redstone smoke furnace trick. I really don't know what to call it. I'll figure it out later, but yeah, it looks really, really awesome. I'm sure you're going to like this video. Hey Ron. Hey Billy. So what exactly is it? Um, I'm not really sure either. Basically, smoke turns on when the furnace turns on, and when the furnace turns off, the smoke turns off. So basically, re it looks really awesome if you're just using your furnace and then smoke comes comes on. So as you can see, there's nothing, there's no smoke anywhere, not in the chimney, nowhere. And if we put, if we start cooking something like potatoes, smoke will start coming on. Look how awesome is that. And you can't really see any redstone, nothing. One part of that why you can't see any of the redstone is because it is super super simple look how easy that is but yeah anyway um we're gonna start off by showing you how to make it so what you're gonna need is one furnace four barrels one rest one campfire not a lot redstone four hoppers one resting embarrasser one sticky piston three resting torches and just blocks of your choice that you know to obviously build this thing so let's go First we're going to want a barrel and then a hopper going into that barrel. A hopper going into that barrel, a furnace on top of that and two hoppers on the side of the furnace. Now make sure the hoppers are actually going into the furnace like that. And then a barrel on top of that and a barrel on top of that. Hopper on top of the furnace and then, not a furnace, a barrel on top of that. It can be chests, not barrels, but I just think barrels look a lot cooler with this, you know, setup, especially with my amazing building right there. So what what we've just built right now is the super smelter. Now obviously it's in the super super smelter because that ones are crazy. But yeah. But yeah, this is just a mini super smelter. It's really awesome because you can put loads of stacks of raw food in there and it will get cooked really, really quickly. But for the redstone bit, which is super simple, we're just gonna want to put a block behind the furnace. A block there a comparator going out from the furnace running into a block with a redstone torch on top on top of that redstone torch we're going to want to put a block somehow there we go a block redstone torch on top of that another block and then another redstone torch and then a sticky piston on top of that redstone torch somehow there we go so it looks like that then we're going to want to put a block on the sticky piston so it actually moves something and then on this torch, which isn't lit up, you're going to want to put a block there, a block on there, destroy that block, and then put the campfire over there. So yeah, that's literally it. It's so simple, I know, right? Now let's test this out. Potato in there. So we'll start cooking, and then it will retract, and then the smoke can come up. If we take out this and make it stop cooking, then it will like power it and then all the smoke will just stay there so it will look like it's not even on this build can be really good for servers on your own world or anything because there's really not that much redstone so it's not going to cause that much lag on servers in realms it would also be pretty good it would for sure impress all your friends if you started to make this and they would be like oh my god that's so cool because you know that's what we do here at dinksy I make redstone tricks and stuff that you can impress your friends with. So to show some love, why don't you just subscribe to the channel? You know, it's literally free and you're going to get loads of awesome redstone content that you can just impress your friends with. And look at this. Look how cool it is. I can't believe it. And also, if you guys want to look at my other videos, literally the one recorded I recorded after this was a spiral piston door. I know, right? It sounds really, really hard, but it's not that hard to make. Just look at this. Look how cool that is. It's, it is so awesome. And the one that I recorded before this was this multi-block swapper. So if we press it, it swaps the block. If we put it, it swaps the block. Look how cool that is. I really can't exaggerate how awesome that is. And it's, it looks complicated, okay? Give me that. Yeah, it looks complicated, but it's not. It really isn't. If you follow my tutorial, it's really not that hard, especially with this door. But yeah, if you did like the video, please, please subscribe like the video and I will see you guys in the next video I guess. Bye!